that face. In this episode, Hans Holbein. His miniatures. When I look at Holbein's drawings, I consider the spiritual concept of reincarnation. These faces look like people walking around on the street, people we see every day, in different clothing, of course. And if you're a fan of portraiture, that's always been the appeal of Holbein's work. I'm going to put some links to some videos that show these pieces of art in a nice, easy fashion so you can view them at your leisure. So Holbein was a Flemish artist working in England's court during the reign of Henry VIII. That's the one with the six wives. It was Holbein's exacting portraiture, which gives us a crisp record of the fashion and appearance of the king, his wives, and many courtiers of the time. Other artists' depictions were vague and lifeless at that time, so historians often talk about Holbein's portraits as breathing. other Flemish artists working for Henry who were paid more than Holbein. These miniatures are by the master Lucas Hornbout. A historian wrote that Hornbout taught Holbein the art of using watercolor on vellum and backing it with a thin piece of playing card. It's obvious how Holbein's work exceeded the norm. Hornbout had a son and a daughter who shared his skill. Holbein painted his daughter, Susanna, who was rather famous in her time for Durer's purchase of her illuminations. The history of miniatures actually began with illuminated manuscripts and at the French courts of Francois I. Francois and Jean Clouet barely preceded Holbein, but I'll need a whole nother show for those two. Miniature portraits would grow in popularity. The romantic Elizabethan miniature artist Nicholas Hilliard would add new techniques of sparkle and light to his pieces, and he would credit Holbein as the most influential artist to have ever lived. Holbein designed jewelry as well, which we can only see in drawings. It was typical for jewelry to be changed and altered considerably over the course of time to suit fashion trends or for the purpose of revitalizing an honor. A DIY miniature. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. There were hours and hours of trial and error on this project. I was going to paint one miniature of somebody I know and put it on a chain, but then I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a necklace of a lot of Holbein portraits? To do this, you need the inkjet shrinkable plastic paper, and you have to print very lightly for the color to stay. Well, miniature making, even with technology, is not what it's cracked up to be. I thought I would make the task easier by printing on plastic and shrinking it rather than painting a Holbein sized uh, 53, 57 millimeter portrait. These little guys are about 50% smaller to fit into the settings and to wear easily around the neck. So I have a cute little reproduction, but I wish I had Holbein's exquisite little masterpiece. Mm -hmm. 